Hello and welcome to another episode here on my channel. My name is Ken Small and today we have a very important news for all the people who already have the retail version of Dying Light 2 at home and think, yeah, let's play the game. I can play before everybody else does. This will be fun. Don't. Not that you can't, you, you totally can, but there seems to be some issues which will be rectified with the day one patch and this is coming from multiple sources like the Dying Light 2 Twitter account. And they are saying, Survivors, we see that some of you got an access to the retail copies of Dying Light 2 before the release date. We understand you want to start exploring the city ASAP and we couldn't be happier. That being said, we kindly ask you to wait until February 4th as by that time, you will also get access to all the improvements and fixes we have implemented within the last few weeks and will introduce with day one patch. That's the way to experience Dying Light 2, the way it's meant to be played. And this is also being echoed by reviewers who have now tested the game for the last two weeks, who didn't have like any of the day one patch, and they had tons of issues. They had performance issues, tons of bugs, um, the usual where you are falling through the world, right? Or even worse, where sometimes the save file got corrupted. I think it was a PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 user who basically said that their fi save file got corrupted and then they had an infinite loading screen and the save file was gone at that point, which really, really sucks. And it seems like a lot of those issues are getting immediately rectified with the day one patch. I know that sucks and... I know that some people will be angry about this, but let's be real here. This has been going on now for decades at that point. I still remember like a decade back when Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 2 came out and the game literally is unplayable without a patch. It will not even boot up if you don't get the day one patch. So this became more and more practice nowadays and well, the reality is just... They're working on the game, they're finishing the game, and then they are sending it out to the retailers, right? It has to be printed, it has to be like sent out to all the different regions, and that takes time and sometimes even months. So of course, the version you are getting is sometimes months old. And they're still, of course, further like bug fixing and improving and whatnot. And they cannot really put that into the send out retail copies because they cannot go into a Walmart or Best Buy or whatever, open up all the boxes and patch the game, right? That doesn't that doesn't work. So yeah, this is pretty common, but I like that they give out the warning because it is in a kind of questionable state right now. And I really, really hope that this will be fixed through the day one patch because nobody wants to have another Cyberpunk 2077 situation or Battlefield 2042 situation or so many other games we got last year who had those kind of problems. So I really hope the day one patch will fix this. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the news. If you did and you're on your way out, I would appreciate if you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, you want to see more daily gaming news, tips and tricks, uh, reaction videos, sometimes even opinion videos on this channel. I would appreciate if you might subscribe to it. If you do that, please don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you are actually getting informed when a new video is going up. And if you ever want to catch me live talking about gaming news or playing the newest games like Dying Light 2, we are starting that on Friday. You can find me from Monday to Friday starting at 9 a.m. ET which is 2 p.m. UK time and 3 p.m. Central European time over at trovo.live slash chaosmall and you will find the link in the video description. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.